So let's look how we can manage the scenarios that we've already got. Currently, we've only got one folder, that's the home folder. And if you add a lot of scenarios, that may become unmanageable. So let's create another folder. In the folder bar there, you press on the plus button. And I'm going to call this new folder shock. So now we've got a new folder that's appeared. If I go back to the home folder now, I can see I've got three shock scenarios, adult shock, the new one, and the new copy. So I want to move those into that folder. So I just press the four-way arrow key here. I'm going to move that one into shock, and that one, and that one. So when I now look in the shock folder, I can see that all of those scenarios have appeared there to make it much easier for you to manage your scenarios. Another thing you can do is you can go into sync data. When I press on this button here at the bottom of the scenario screen, you can see that it changes the menu again. So we can have media only or scenario and media. And when you press scenario and media, it comes up with a warning. Let's go back to media only. What I might want to do is synchronize a scenario with the student screen. So if I go into my shock folder here, I know that some of these scenarios have got images and videos associated with them. So I might want to preload those onto the student screen so that when you're using it in a scenario, it seems to work seamlessly. I'm going to do all in folder. When I do that, it goes to the screen that's waiting for something to happen. On the student iPad, we tap on scenarios and we tap on sync data. And we can see it under scenario data offered, we've got the shock folder there. And we just press that button to do that. And it will now sync all those images and video over. So when you play those scenarios back, the images and videos will seem to appear a lot quicker. If we go back into sync data, we can see that there's scenario and media as well and this always comes up with a warning. This is useful if you want to share scenarios between different facilitator iPads. So if you're running a course and you have one scenario on one iPad, you might want to share it with multiple other facilitator iPads. And you just use this function to do you do exactly the same process to share these scenarios, but now it will end up in the scenario library of that iPad. So there's, that's some ways you can really start to manage the scenarios that you have to make your life easier with ALSI.